And so uh, I think we we rung in the million dollar passing of the whole the all, us and the other group of streamers mm -hmm. brought us over a million. And in that moment, we all just unloaded on Zed. He put on glasses. <laughs> he sat in the chair, and we that was just fun. that was too much fun. Welcome back to the show. There's no telling where we'll go. So come and share a laugh on the Imp and Skiz podcast. We're back. Feels like forever ago ages. that we were sitting on the couch talking to Smager. It was ages <laughs> it ago. Does it feels like forever ago, man? Because yeah. we do we did we like preloaded those so that we could go on our high top secret trip yeah. <laughs> to Ann Arbor, Michigan, which most people yeah. know by now why we went there. But let's let's recap it. So uh, charity stream gamers outreach. They invited us out. Apparently, they do this like LAN event, mm -hmm. and it was like just people hanging out inside this like basketball arena, just playing games together. But they also had this other like section for streamers to help raise money for Gamers Outreach, which Hermitcraft has done before. This is your first time. It is doing yeah. Gamers Outreach, but um, it was really cool. They they put together these these mobile gaming carts. They go into hospitals like around the world. Somehow they get them in hospitals all over the place. And uh, they're used by patients in the hospitals. And, and I also found out by the parents as well of patients as the patients were going through treatment and stuff. Sure. And Tango and I got a chance to go visit one uh, in one of the hospitals nearby and just hear the stories of the people that use them. And it was it was just incredible how much these carts mean in a setting like that. So, yeah, they invited us to come out. To be physically there. To which physically was, come yeah. out and, like, invited, you know, as many hermits and friends, actually, that, that we could bring. Um to, to help raise money. And so we did it. We, we did got it. together IRL. And it we, was so cryptic. Like we had to be was. so secretive about it and, yeah. and for good reason. And, and, but it was, it was bizarre because when you're a part of something like that, you, you know, you want to scream it from the mountaintops, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, this is something that's been sort of a, a micro dream of mine for a long time now is being able to get enough clout to where I can do a charity event. Uh, and it means something right And Obviously the gravity here is, 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 going to be hermitcraft i get that but we got to see from an individual level what our contributions were going to be and it was it was so huge so to keep it as quiet as we kept it was like god just i just want to get there yeah. so we can announce it and so we just we were because everybody thought that we were going to do it remotely yeah so yeah. like so it was like we're going to do this this uh charity event but we're going to be there physically and um the reveal was was pretty stellar it was yeah. it was yeah it wasn't a public event um no so no, no. that's kind of why we had to keep it somewhat of a secret was just because of that we we had a, a feeling that if we announced ahead of time that we were all the hermits were going to be in one place at the same time and then anybody nearby would just try to show up which they they did they did yeah <laughs> even after like we, we we dropped a surprise like people still showed up and unfortunately um maybe we didn't do, do a good job communicating that it wasn't public but Unfortunately, they they got turned away. There was pretty pretty good security in, the, good in the building. Security. Yeah, yeah, but it was kind of weird because it was like we how can we communicate that it's not really a public event if we can't really communicate that we're even going to be there? Because right. if we're not going to be there, why are we talking about the fact that it's not a public event? Like it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So I think there was a there was a real because we had a lot of meetings internally uh, mm -hmm. the, the, as Hermitcraft to talk about some do's and don'ts and stuff like that. Right, we all wanted to be telling the same story we all wanted to be on the same page and all that and there was some like listen people are smart man people put things together so mm -hmm. we even had we even had talks like don't even don't even say you're going to be gone next week streaming wise right. because if too many hermits do that people are going to be like oh and the gamers outreach and they're going to all oh, you know right. people are going to put it together and you know the, the it's it's kind of um it, I don't the, the, I don't have the right word. I want to say frustrating, but it's not. It just kind of sucks that like we have to keep it quiet because ninety nine point nine percent of people are just fine. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's a it's the it's a point zero one percent or whatever that yeah. messes it up for everybody. So we had to keep it kind of quiet, um, which is which was fine. And we went and did it. And and I gotta tell you, I because this is I'm not wrong about this, right? You guys did this before, but it was remote, right? Yeah, we did it remote. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So everybody, once we made the announcement that we were doing it, we just kind of left out the fact that we were doing it in person, yeah. you know, and so they, everybody just assumed it was going to be remote. Because I did end up having to cancel, like, my Friday stream because we were on a plane, you know, during the time I'd normally yeah. normally be streaming. So yeah. I was like, well, I'm going to cancel my Friday stream because I'm getting ready for this big charity stream charity stream happening over the weekend. And so that made sense. I think most people that bought close, that. close, it makes sense. Yeah, and yeah. also not exactly a lie. It was true. I was preparing <laughs> 
for the charity stream by getting on an airplane. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. No, that... it's not a lie. You, 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 you got it sorted. Yeah. Well, let's do it. Let's take it from the top, right? We like Let's just move past all the meetings we had and all the leveling that we did and everything. Because mm -hmm. I think what we're going to do is as we take it from the top and we tell the story and our journey on this whole thing, uh, previous conversations and agreements are going to reveal themselves. Oh, that's because we talked about this then. So let's, mm -hmm. let's just take it from the top. And the wonderful, wonderful woman who took us to the airport – at a just ridiculously early time, four a.m. Like, five five a.m. Well, four somewhere between four thirty. We left yeah. at four thirty. I don't somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. I know because the night before, like I set my alarm for three thirty a.m. Mm -hmm. You set yours for three thirty a.m. And we made up a little game. <laughs> Let's see who can uh, text the other person mm -hmm. closest to three thirty. Yeah, and that was Friday morning. And I remember because at 3.29 a.m., I'm up and I'm looking at my phone and I've got my SpongeBob gif all ready to go with like the, the alarm <laughs> clock blaring and I'm ready to text you. I'm waiting for it to turn, you know, to 3.30. And like, dude, I'm telling you, man, it's 3.29 and it must have been 57 seconds and yours came through. I'm like, cheater face. And I know. Mine had I'm, ticked I'm over. Yeah. And I like hit it as fast as I could. And you sent me, um, wake up. Chop suey. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Give a little makeup. That whole thing, you know, it was so good. <laughs> and so, anyways, but the bottom line is our, our, you know, our messages hit like that. And that's when, in that moment, I realized we're both very excited to go do this. Yeah. You know, that's what that was. Yeah. It, it was, it was a, it was a, uh, a safety approach for like, let's make sure I don't sleep in and you don't sleep in. Mainly we're worried about me, but it was still <laughs> like, let's just do it anyways. But as soon as both of ours came in, Simultaneously, I was like, we're both very excited about yeah, this. We we're you know? both. Up. In fact, I had been up for a while because I was so excited. I just, you know, I've been having trouble sleeping anyway. And so I was just like, I think I woke up at like two something in the morning. Jeez. And so I'd been up for a while. I actually slept. That's when I went to bed. I slept, <laughs> I I slept in here. I slept in the, the guest house part of the studio just so that when I got up to, to leave, I wouldn't like wake the entire house up. You know, yeah. So I was, I was sleeping in here, and that, that might have been part of why I wasn't sleeping so well. But, um, but that gave me the freedom to like get up and like take my time and just like make sure I had everything, which yeah. uh, which I did. I didn't. I forgot one thing, and that was the charger for my my Garmin. I switched uh. to Garmin, by the way, after our our favorite things video. <laughs> I bragged about the Fitbit, and then I switched to Garmin. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> I know. Blame my wife. Blame my wife got it first, and she's like, "This is better." Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, I, I forgot that. But other than that, I brought everything. I didn't forget a single thing. I was happy about that. But, yeah, then we got picked up by Mrs. T. Yep, Mrs. Tango. 4.30 in the morning, probably. Whatever it was, 4.15. I don't crazy. know. I thought it was 4, but who knows? Okay, early. Yeah, maybe it was. Yeah. Yeah, no, no that makes sense because I remember thinking 3.30. That means I only got 30 minutes to get yeah. up and be ready. So, yeah, you're right. It was like 4 in the morning. Whew. And then we made our way to the airport. And, uh, yeah, we were there with plenty of time. We ended up. Um, not having to check any bags, which was crazy considering no, the so amount of time that we were going to stay. Can we let's 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 do it. Let's unpack that you, conversation. You want to you want to throw a tango? You were going to do it. You and I are very big like carry on people. Mm -hmm. Just make it happen with a carry on. And we were all kind of worried because we'll go into this as well. But there was uh, a fun road trip planned after the event. Uh, and on top of that, I actually was going to be there like two or three days longer than all of you because I had to. I was going to go uh, meet up with. My wife and I are going to go see our daughter. Um, so the idea of getting all of that into one carry-on meant there has to be the ability <laughs> to do laundry, which yeah. is not – we're not splitting the atom. We'll do some laundry when we're there. You're on board. I'm on board. And and poor Tango is just like, so really, like, you guys – are you're not going to check any bags? And we're like, <laughs> now we're going to do carry-on. He's like, How, you guys – so you're gonna, you'd rather – do laundry, then take a check bag. And both of us are like, dude, if you want to check a bag, that's okay. Yeah. We're just not. You know what I mean? But yep. I, I feel like we he got – I don't feel like either one of us gave him pressure to get it down to a carry-on. But he he pulled he it did off. It. Yeah. He did it. <laughs> he brought one pair of clothes, wore the same thing the entire – No, he no, I'm just did kidding. not. No. Somehow he, somehow he managed to, to fit it in there. Actually, I was impressed because I had, I had like my carry on bag that fits in the overhead, but I also always bring a backpack. Yeah. And, and that's got all my like electronics and stuff, mm -hmm. the stuff that I might want on the plane or just have handy. And then plus I shoved like another hoodie in there, which I didn't end up actually wearing at all. So yeah. my backpack was just stuffed with my hoodie for yeah. no reason. Um, it was much milder weather than I was expecting yeah. when we got there. I, I was excited to be like cold. 
and it it got maybe a little bit cold a one day. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. It was it was it was nice. It was really yeah. nice weather. Yeah, I had I brought my backpack to you. I had to. I had I had to. I had my I'm I was still working. You know what I mean? So I knew yeah. that, that throughout the duration of the following week. <laughs> you had to juggle. I had to juggle like a lot there. Like there was you guys were all so awesome about it too. Um, but cause like we'd be in the house that we'll talk about in a little bit, but we'd be in the house and I'd be like, all right, I'm going to be back in this back room. I've got to work and take meetings and do my thing or whatever. But all right. So we take the flight there and then from the airport, um, we had an Uber. Oh the yeah. We were kind of late. Right. Remember the plane? Like, oh yeah. The plane like went all the way to the runway to take off. Yeah. And it's like, sorry guys, we got to turn around and go back. Yeah. And weird stuff was happening. I still don't understand. Bro, I don't either. A couple people were escorted off the plane, but at the same time, the pilot's telling us they need to replace a part. And I thought maybe the part was a cover up for whatever happened too. to these people. And I thought so. Yeah. And they said somebody puked. So yeah. I'm like, so I'm like, okay, here's the deal. If somebody puked or you had to escort people off the plane, and you, you don't cover it up by saying we have to fix a part of the plane. Yeah, that just, part felt weird. <laughs> like they went as far as bringing guys in with the vest in a in a uh, trapper keeper and like documenting the part. And so I I kind of bought it at that point. Yeah. When they were actually writing down a physical part number in a in a log that they brought on the plane, you know, I was like <laughs> maybe it's like wow, this is really elaborate at this point. Maybe they time. went to escort somebody off and they're like, oh, you know what? Good, I need this extra time to replace that turbine anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe they tried to kill two birds with oh, one stone. Oh man, with all the weird stuff going on with airlines lately got me a little concerned yeah so i was cool i was fine you know i was sitting next to you poor tango was across the aisle from us so didn't get a yeah didn't get a chat as much but um, i kept reaching over and touching his shoulder as uh, you know what i mean as because it's loud let him know that he's still there you're here buddy and i I do it one time i did it he's all i'm still here man (laughs) (laughs) that's so funny just make sure you weren't gonna go anywhere but yeah because of that we were like we were late and like all all the other hermits and and uh, when we say hermits, we are just gonna bring Jimmy and Martin into that into term the conversation. for now. It's hermits yeah. and friends. Uh, they were honorary yeah. hermits for the weekend, yeah. so they're included. Um, but they came as well. Everyone had gotten there, like mostly the day before us. Yeah, I think um, we decided to not leave till early Friday morning so that you could continue working. Tago also wanted to to finish up a video, needed some extra time, and so yeah, we were like the last ones to actually get there. Plus we pretty much had the least amount of like jet lag you know what i mean maybe yeah. joe from tennessee had less than us um but our flight was just like three hours or something it was no big deal yes so small. by the time we got there though they were already like at the venue setting up their computers and stuff yeah and i was i mean i was i want to say worried but it was one of those like i don't want to go to bed tonight and not feel like i'm technically completely set up because we start mm-hmm. tomorrow morning and i don't want to be doing any sort of configurations or installs or Getting the stream key going or any sort of banners or all that stuff. There was a lot of stuff. A there was lot, way dude. more than I could have imagined. A lot. There's yeah. so much. And it I mean, it's like setting up a new computer. Yep. You know, it's like every bit of it. And so I remember I was like, I'm I gotta take a, you know, make sure I can get my stream key, make sure I know all my passwords. Cause I'm logged into things for so long that sometimes I'm like, what's my password? You know, like <laughs> I, I end up forgetting. So uh went through that whole list. But I remember sitting down, first of all, I remember they took us back to our area and I started to get really excited for where I am in life right now. I remember thinking that. I remember being like, this is like, what what an unbelievable blessing this is to be invited to something like this. Mm-hmm. And these setups are sick. And like, I'm, this is like, this is, they got a lot of great equipment and they have, all, this is great. Let's do this. And I get in and I just start knocking things out. And the next thing I know, I've blinked and I'm like, I'm like 80% done. You know what I mean? There's still some teeth to cross, but I'm like 80% done and I got plenty more time and I feel good. Like I went from being very nervous to now, I'm, like in regards to my setup to like, I'm feeling a lot better about this. And you were, you were a huge help because you went through some sort of rigmarole where one, I, I don't even remember what it was. What I do know is that I was trying to do something and it wasn't quite working. And then I went online, I started researching it. You were sitting next to me. You looked over at my browser. You're all, oh, yep. Been there, and, you know. And I remember <laughs> you're like, I know exactly. Let me help you, man, because that sucked. And then you yeah. came over, you set me through, and I'm like, I, I don't, I don't think I ever would have gotten there. Like it was whatever it was, it was yeah. super complicated. It was some. What was it? Do you remember? Uh, it might have been the SDI thing. So we had this like ability to oh, take video yeah. signal from another. So basically, there was that clumsy cooking hot ones kind of like main area. Yeah, and we wanted to get the feed from the camera over there 
into our computers yeah. so that we could just put them as overlays basically and any time just switch to that and you could kind of like see the entire streamer aisle yeah, of yeah. all of us and then um actually there was some non-hermit streamers like down on the other end of the the, the half of that aisle um, which they all hated us by the end of this event, I'm sure. No but way. Well, maybe. I'm pretty sure they got shot by the yeah, Nerf guns a few the... times. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so it was done through this technology called SDI. I think it's SDI. I hope I'm getting that right. NDI. NDI. NDI, I, thank you. I thought something was off yeah, there. Yeah. Standard definition. Uh, no, NDI, <laughs> network. It's like network display, whatever. It's, it's a way to transmit video over the network. And so we were able to, to like, they had a server set up that was, like, sending that signal out that we could pull in. Anyway, it took like plugins and all sorts of configuration, yeah. encryption keys and passwords and, and all this stuff in order to get that working. But um, we got it working. It was great because yeah. if not, I wouldn't have been able to continue streaming during the hot ones. Yep. And that was great. I was like, okay, I'm going to go over to the hot ones thing. Bang, hit a button. I, you can see me get up out of my chair and like walk over yeah. to the the table, which was which was super cool. But the whole setup was like not familiar to me. Like the microphone, it's not my normal microphone. Yep. The the interface, not my normal interface. I mean, they did have the Stream Deck Plus at least, which I was familiar with and in, in kind of using the Wavelink software. But it was all it was all being plugged in not the way I would have done it. You know what I mean? Like part of me wanted to tear everything down that they had done for me ahead of time and like build it myself. Yeah. Just because I was like, why is the microphone plugged into the USB? Okay, yeah. forget it. Yeah. You know, like uh, forget it. Just all, you know, and we couldn't monitor ourselves either. Like no. we normally do. We usually have um we could hear our voices directly from the microphone. And Which that is was, what we do. That was that, unavailable. Yeah, whenever you see us streaming or when we're when we're filming um, as I speak, it's real time back into my ear mm -hmm. there. And by real time, I mean, instantaneous real time. And yeah. it just, it helps me get in touch with what the timbre of my voice is in that time and the inflection and stuff like that. And Make I like sure you it. don't leave on any, any voice effects. That's a good one too. You know? Yeah. You, you wouldn't, <laughs> if you don't have that, you don't know if you have a modulator on and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So we've always worked like that. We didn't have that luxury no. this time. Had to get used to it pretty fast. In fact, there were wireless headsets, which were really glitchy. Were, I think there all was just, of them are just mine. I think there was just too many signals yeah. in this building or something yeah. because like if I turned my head this way, I lost audio. Yeah, see, it, that makes me feel a little yeah. better because I'm like I, there were time I felt so, I kept smacking my head because I because like 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 G would be talking to the whole crew whole group and it was like critical what he was saying, but he, I couldn't I had to like read his lips, couldn't hear a word he was saying. <laughs> but 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 my chat could, which was really interesting i mean they could hear all of it because you know through my system they but just thought you weren't you weren't listening or paying attention yeah, properly I'm like smack them they my just head. told you that yeah, i know i felt so bad you dumb dumb? <laughs> <laughs> no not to not to bag on i mean i don't want to bag on the on, on no, the setup they did all. an amazing job getting all those computers getting all the things we needed the microphones the xlr interfaces and stream decks and, and keyboards and mice and everything um although it would have been nice been nice to have my keyboard anyway so <laughs> They they did a great job getting that all. It's just like when you're when you're at a station that you're not used to, like it it just feels weird. I felt very fish out of water, you know. I was like not ready to compete in any kind of Zitz Olympics or even build in, in uh you know the the guess the build that yeah. we did. Um, we had some really fun events. We did set up, but yeah, Friday night. Um, you know, even though we got late, got in late, we got the stuff done in two three hours. Yep. And we gotta go have dinner. Go out, go have dinner, hang out a little bit. Yeah. Wake up the next day, and uh, we we are all at the hotel. That you know. Yeah. That. Wake up the next day, and we know that it's go time. And we come in, and it's you know we're that that you get that buzz in the air, like we're about to go live in mm -hmm. an hour, and in forty five minutes, and thirty minutes. And then you and I had a really good moment, um, where a lot of people had said that they were feeling like I'm getting nervous, you know. And you want that. You actually want that mm -hmm. because it's it's indicative that. Um, it's being taken seriously, right? And you're like, and you said, I'm getting nervous. And you and I had this, like, I think you were able, like, I had a revelation right in front of you, like, of about myself. And I was like, are you? And, and, and you said, I am. And I'm like, that's good, man. And you said, you're not nervous? And I said, I'm not. And I can tell you were, you had this, like, well, you damn well should be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which you, that should be your reaction. Yeah. And I, mean, I, I said, think I, did I say this is a pretty big deal. You, or something. something like that. You're like, this yeah. is kind of a big deal. I'm like, it is a big, this is huge. Yeah. And I said, and I, and, and then I, I paused and I psychoanalyzed myself for a second. And I said, it's not that I'm not aware of what a big deal this is. I said, I, I think I'm just nervous because I'm, I'm just very comfortable and I'm, I'm nervous every day at work. I've been in this industry for 18 plus years. I'm nervous every day because I've been a fish out of water for 18 years. And I said, but here I'm home. 
Like it was like that's mm. that, and that was my moment. I'm like, it's I really should be nervous about this, but I'm not. Like here, I'm home with with all with my with my friends with this with my family. Let's just call it what it is. We we went through the ringer together, and now we're doing something that's clearly a, an absolute good, and it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And there's going to be, thou I mean, countless thousands upon thousands of eyes on all of us. This is a very very big deal. I'm not nervous at all because I'm home. Like it was the weirdest thing. I'm like, yeah. but I, I, at the same time, I, I think I even said to you, this is not an arrogance thing. It's something very different. And I don't, I, I guess I don't really know what it is. But when I realized I'm nervous every day at work, you know what I mean? That's when I was like, no, I do have the ability to get nervous. And it's when I don't belong. And yeah. that's, that was, and so that was a good moment. And I said that and you're all, hmm. <laughs> it was the best one. Like, hmm. Must be nice. <laughs> Must be nice because I'm sweating bullets right now, expecting <laughs> anything and everything to go wrong, and this just be a complete, you yeah. know what show, uh, you know. Yeah. Like uh, <laughs> I was, it, it 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 was well put together. I mean, I think um, you know, Scar wasn't able to make it. Unfortunately, oh, um, he did plan on traveling, but he had some he had some you know medical things come up in the weeks leading up to this that just made it so it wasn't super feasible for him to do that travel. Yeah. And um, so <laughs> they pivoted in a very special way with the Robo Scar. So good. Uh, basically an iPad on a Segway that would just, so that he could control good. remotely. He could see us, hear us. We could see him and hear him. And he was able to just roll around the entire event. Yeah. And it was like, almost like he was there. It was, I, yeah. it was this close to feeling like he was, was there. He because well, people like put balloons on it and like like think little hands or yeah. something to that effect. And at and one he had point, a little badge hanging off of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. At one point, I mean, he was even like we all annoyed each other a lot, like on purpose. You know what I mean? Like go bug with each other. He did the same thing. I was streaming. I didn't even know he came up behind me, and all of a sudden this balloon starts pushing it in my face. As I'm, <laughs> I'm like, what is this? And I look over, and I look over, and I see Scar's face because he's right there on the yeah. iPad, and and he he's the one who brought himself over. And I thought that that was just, I mean, to see that through and and execute it the way they did. I mean, I cannot I cannot speak highly enough of the people that put this together. Mm -hmm. And I had some words with them. Um, I I mean, I'm I had some words with them, uh, you know, away from everybody because I come from this world a little bit, you know. And I was that was the other the other the only other time in this industry I work in that I'm a fish out of water that I was comfortable was when I was doing event management before COVID, but. I work with with groups like this and to pull off something like this people don't understand how many moving parts there are there are so very many moving parts and it's a bit of a house of cards because sometimes this can go wrong or that can go wrong but every once in a while there's something that can go wrong that tears the whole thing down mm -hmm. and uh in in an environment that is as technical as this one was where technology was everything the, almost everything could tear the whole thing down. Right. But they just, the people who put this together were just cream Fantastic. of the crop, dude. Yeah. I was so impressed. I'm like, guys, I work with groups like you. I, I work with people like you. I know, I actually got, I, I know what I'm talking about. And you guys are second to none. And they, <laughs> they, they were really into it, you know? And I said, so all like they did, they gave us a lot of accolades, uh, the hermits and hermits and friends. They gave us a lot of accolades in regards to the energy we were able to bring. And my response to that, and everybody agreed, was you made it very easy to bring that energy mm -hmm. because of what you provided. Yeah. And, and like, like anytime I felt myself like I'm I, battery's draining, man. Like anytime that sort of kind of started to happen, my brain's like, take a look around. Imagine setting this up. Suck it up. You know <laughs> what I mean? And then it just it helped me. I think everybody went through that rotation. You know? Yeah, yeah, you're you're right. Like we've had days where we've set up for this podcast, and um, like we've had tech issues. You know. And it's hard to like get past that. Like it almost puts you in this like bad mood because yep. you're dealing with yep. these things that you didn't anticipate. You don't want to be dealing with. You just want to get the job done. And nothing came up that put us out of our like happy mood yep. that we were in because we were just so grateful to be there. So grateful to to um you know help help raise money for this good cause and we're grateful to be in each other's company yep. IRL because it. Doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Like yeah. it's happened rarely. You know, it like when mine cons used to happen, you know, the hermits would would meet up um for those here and there. But this was something different. Like this yep. was this was like there was like what 14 of us that came together, 13 of us that came together. And um it was just it, it was fantastic. It was. It, and so because Scar couldn't make it in person, Grian decided to kind of a step up and, and do run of show mm -hmm. just because he was there in person it'd be easier to walk to each person saying okay we're gonna do this then we're gonna do this then we're gonna do this and that was fun to watch yeah green just blossom as a 
as a leader yeah. and just take charge and his his confidence and walking around with that clipboard looking all official only to find out later it was a freaking picture of a duck that he drew are you kidding me I know. never once did i look over his shoulder to see what the heck he was pretending to write down <laughs> when you walk around with a clipboard you seem important <laughs> and i remember thinking like he's got that clipboard and he's clutching to it and he's got some plans yeah it was a picture of a duck that's all he just drew gotta a picture him. of a duck gotta love him man yeah. and then we brought martin who had uh in the first time we did the gamers outreach charity virtually martin came on the hermitcraft server and was kind of like the mc who would like announce the events that were going on and like read all the donations and hype everything up and kick off the dollar drives and things like that. Martin shows up with no voice, oh, just completely trashed. So he, he had just gotten over being sick yeah. and he hadn't recovered his voice yet. So it was like, okay, Martin, read some donos. And he's like, literally like nothing would come out. And we're like, <sighs> never mind. <laughs> That's so bad for him. And he even kept saying, it's like, I feel fine. Yeah. It's my voice. I just lost my voice. And I was like, dude, like, of all people and of all times, like, yeah. this has got to suck. Terrible time. Yeah. Terrible time. I was I was super nervous that something like that would happen to me. Like, I would get sick, like, the day before or during or, you know, after, which time will tell because we, we've only been home for a few days. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you what, I don't like the allergies around here. As soon yeah. as I landed, like, immediately my throat was scratchy. You know, I'm, like, clearing my throat left and right all of a sudden <laughs> where that didn't happen yeah. when we were on our on our trip. So uh, time to move. It's, it's uh, yeah. It's, where you want to go? Uh, <laughs> my, hey, Mrs. Skiz has been wanting to move for a while, so let's, yeah. let's talk it I over. I still got kids in school, unfortunately. I'm, 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 I'm grounded here You're for a bit for a longer. Little, a little bit more. So, you know, I, I like how we were able to make the, the motion of the – the fundraising for these cards and like tie it to milestones and stuff like that. And we started, I don't remember what it was, but remember, do you remember Scar was in jail for a little bit? Oh, right. Yeah. 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 We had to come up with milestones. Um, and that was one of them that, yeah. that we had to hit. I can't even remember. It was, like, it was a big number. It was like, I think it was uh, 250. So, like maybe it was a quarter. Yeah, uh, somewhere been, in there. Some, it, it was a lot to expect early enough to release yeah. Scar and let him free. Like, I'm like, he's going to be in there that like, for the whole day. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but he was out. And he was out quickly. Yeah. Because, man, the community just came together and they something did. special, man. Like, it was it was getting me emotionally. Um, it was it was hard to, like, not let it affect me emotionally just to see the outpouring of support come in so hot, so heavy yeah. from the community. And, uh, and, and they were, you know, they were excited to see that we were all there in person. They were excited because we had planned so many, like, great, events to like keep the entertainment value yeah. there because i mean you know we could have just been like hey we're raising money for charity and just sat there and, and watch donations come in and read them but we wanted to provide some entertainment of course to yeah. make it worth their while to come in and, and give back you know they're giving uh to the cause and, and we're hopefully giving some entertainment and laughs and stuff which Tango and Zedif did a spectacular oh, job dude. doing oh with God. their fourth installment of clumsy cooking live like in front of all of us, that was the first time I had been live in person. I remember just sitting there um, at my station, uh, just, just waiting for my turn to do whatever was next. And and I look over and they're just having the time of their life, dropping eggs everywhere. Like the place uh, was a mess, yeah. man. And they're just, it was, I just kept looking over and I just couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. They had a big too. old thing of plastic on the ground. I remember thinking, I'm not sure that's enough plastic because they were messy. They got close. They got, they was, and mm -hmm. at one point, so I had a slight job to where, cause like, like there was a lot, like Dot was managing a lot of like the specifics of the wheel spin and stuff like that. And then, but whenever there was a wheel spin, which indicates a behavior change on their part, they couldn't always tell what was happening because, you know, they're blindfolded or they're doing a lot of stuff. And so I was banging two sticks together anytime she pointed to me. So I had, like, I was up and close with them. And I remember, like, safety skiz kicked in. And as more and more eggs dropped, I'm like, it's going to ruin the whole show if somebody slips into the table and knocks the whole table over. So I'm like, keep an eye on that. And at one point, they dropped a <laughs> bottle, like, right next to uh, either Tango or Zed's foot. And I'm like, if one of them steps on that bottle, they're going. You know what I mean? Like they're going because they can't see. They're bound up. They're doing yeah. stuff. So I took one of my giant bamboo sticks I was using to indicate that there's a behavior change. And I don't even know if it made its way into the shot. I tried to make sure it didn't. And I like reached way out with my long arms. I grabbed that bottle while they were performing. I just pulled it away from, you know, Tango's foot or Zed's foot, whoever it was. <laughs> I remember I just kind of just did that. I'm like, they need somebody watching this. And, and somebody caught something big time. Uh, Tango, I think, bumped the table. That table was up on a platform. And that Whoa. thing was like 
inches away from toppling. Jeez. Yeah, and somebody who was not not me, not Dot, was like, like came. I was like, hold on, hold on. And then as soon as like they fixed it, like all of us were like, whoa! <laughs> like it would it would have stopped the show. I oh, mean, yeah. that, you know what I mean? Like it would have dumped everything on also the ground. Would have been pretty funny. It would have been funny, but it would have stopped the show. <laughs> it would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good catch. Yeah. Good catch. Now, gosh. My memory sucks. Was Clumsy Cooking, like, it wasn't first. Did no. we do guess the build before that? I can't even remember the order of events I now. can't either. such a blur. Yeah. Um, it was a long weekend. Like, like we had 10 hours, 12 hours maybe, of content the first day. Something like that. And the second day was supposed to be pretty relaxed and ended up being way more. Yeah. Like, we ended up, well, we ended up pushing Hot Ones to the next to day. To the second day. So yeah. Hot Ones is kind of like my my segment to manage right yeah. like i had to be on top of of how to all the logistics and getting hot wings and getting the sauces and 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 the plates set up and and figuring out the format and all that kind of stuff um and we weren't sure when that was going to hit because that was tied to a milestone yep. we weren't sure if it was going to hit we right. thought maybe maybe there's a chance we walk out of here and bought the hot wings lineup of sauces for nothing yeah you know Could it almost ha- well we th- it didn't almost happen but it started to look like it might happen right because we i think i think we thought we were going to hit it earlier than we did but once it hit then i mean it was like we just then we ended up going like way way past over that. yeah yeah Crazy. yeah we were we we thought maybe we would hit in the first day um just based off of what ha- happened uh in the previous stream yeah uh years past and uh it didn't quite get there but we had another day ahead of us so i think you know we should have accounted for like the, the trickle that just happened stretched over those two days instead of like thinking it was all going to come in anyway um <laughs> didn't matter because we had so much stuff on the docket yeah that the whole day was just filled with i mean guess the build was dude guess the to build. be able to do guess the build in person and actually switch computers that physically switch different. computers that was next level because you and i are the only ones with inverted mics <laughs> yeah now here's the deal with guess that build i'm already terrible and so i'm all i kind of bring the comedic relief because i'm already a bad builder or whatever and i don't do it on purpose i just i'm like I'm just going to go do what I'm going to do, I'm, and I'm going to do my best, but my best ends up being comical. When I can't, when the mouse is not inverted the way I like it, dude, it brought me to a complete standstill. You adapted a lot quicker than I did. It brought me to a standstill to where I was like, at one point, I'm like, all I want to do is do a row of horizontal blocks. That's it. I've been at this for like three minutes. For some reason, I'm like, okay, and I go click, click, click. I just went up again. I just went down again. Like, it was like I lost so much time. So <laughs> some of my builds that were already destined to be bad uh, were like, that's not bad. That's like you didn't even, like, it literally, it looks like you had about four <laughs> seconds, you know? One, one so of your, bad. Oh, I, yeah, because I had to follow you for the guessing. You were giving right? me so much static. And one, and one of your builds, <laughs> I just made something up. It had nothing to do with what I was looking at. I, I was like, I'm just, it's time for a new term. Uh, there's <laughs> it no, wasn't that no... bad. That, not that <laughs> one. I don't remember which one it was. That one was not, there was one that you would have made more sense if you did that. But one of them, like, come on, man, I actually gave you something here, but doesn't matter it was still very bad the saddest table dancer alive i think was uh was one of them because you'd built it looked like a table that and it looked like really, a person and it looked like a really tear good. yeah and they, it looked like they were holding an umbrella so i was thinking they're dancing like an umbrella you know what i mean yeah. like mary poppins style yeah yeah and so that's why i went with the saddest table that dance. is a, that was a good response yeah uh, yeah that was super fun and then like having people so i still haven't watched it back but apparently um, it was hilarious, all the people that came to our stations and hit Sat our down. inverted <laughs> mouse as well. Yeah. We dealt with it a lot more because I think, like, there was eight people playing. Yeah. Um, and so we had six out of the yes, eight stations dude. that we were unfamiliar with where they only had two yes. out of the eight stations to deal with that. Yes. But it was terrible. I heard it was pretty funny. Everybody that sat yeah, at my computer was I just remember. complaining up a storm. Yeah. Ma- well, Martin <laughs> sat at my computer. He goes, oh, no, he sat at your computer. That was the first time... He had to do one with, and I was to his right, and he sat at your computer. He goes, "Oh, this is gonna be one of those." And he moves the mouse, and he goes, "Ugh!" And yeah, he like, pretends yeah, to throw like, up. <laughs> dry heave. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that good. that went off really well. That was uh, that was Green's, you know, brainchild there of figuring out how to get us to like move stations yeah. and stuff. And and I remember you were you were like, "I'm gonna change the settings," and I was like, "No, you're not." Yeah, that was a good. I call. was like, "No, you're not." That was a good call. I was like, "If I'm I'm gonna deal with it, you're gonna deal with it. And it's gonna be funnier." But that it's way. more than that. It also meant they all had to deal yeah, with it. Exactly. So that was when I when I thought it through. I'm like, "No, he's absolutely right." But uh, so anyway, so that was good. And clumsy cooking was good. Uh, we did the. Um, I don't think you were part of it, but we did the. I didn't do the bingo um, yeah. because I I thought 
maybe that was gonna be around the time of day when when we were gonna end up doing the hot ones. So I was kind of like getting ready to sure. prepare for that. Yeah. Um. And then as as that kind of uh, didn't didn't come to fruition, like we we saw it was gonna happen. Uh, I just kind of went around and messed with people while they yeah. were doing the bingo. Yeah, that must have been fun, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was partnered with Zed, and so I was the mouse and he was the keyboard. And so we're, it's basically there was X amount of teams playing bingo, Minecraft bingo. And I was the mouse, he was the keyboard, and they were all doing that same stuff, too. And that was just... That was a fun new way to collaborate with somebody. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Zed is already one of the funniest people on the planet. So, like, we were never truly bickering, like, ever. But it was almost like we were trying to mock bicker. But when you're trying to mock bicker, you have to go with real fodder. And the, and there were actual things to be frustrated about. Not yeah. that one of us actually was. But we, uh, we got to play that dance, and other people were doing it as well. But, man, we got our butts whooped twice, dude. Well, not whooped. First time whooped. Second time we made huge strides, but it was a very distant, or very, very, I'm sorry, very close last place. So mm -hmm. we, we improved massively on the it's second tough. one. It's tough. Yeah. So, geez, I, what, what happened after that? So since we didn't end up doing Hot Ones, I can't remember what actually happened after Bingo. Oh, we played Phasmo. We did play yeah, Phasmo. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. Yeah, we played Phasmo. So I, I spent some time during Bingo, like um, installing Phasmophobia and, and trying to like remember all the the settings and stuff. And for whatever reason, uh, the game was not picking up my microphone, yeah. so I couldn't like talk in the spirit box and stuff. So I was like trying to figure all that out while the Bingo was going on. But man, we started playing Phasmo, and woo! It's been a while. Like I hadn't yeah. played Phasmo since the start of season ten, um, just because I wanted to hyper, you know, focus on on Hermitcraft and. After we played that, man, I've been thinking about it ever since. Yeah. Like, I, I got the itch again. I just want to play Fazbo again. Yeah. Like, that was so much fun, like, being back together with the gigs crew, you know? And we thought for a minute, because Scar had a long day. You yeah. know, Scar was streaming, like, the entire time. He didn't get breaks like some of us got. And so when it came to Fazbo, we're like, Scar, are you going to be okay for this? And he wasn't sure. We thought he was going to have to tag in Jem. I'm actually glad he, yeah. he hung. She played her own role in this. Because Jem became, <laughs> yeah, like, the 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 other ghosts yeah <laughs> basically so yeah her coming up and there's some good clips out there of her like jump scaring us and got me every time i dude i was looping i was in the middle of looping a ghost <laughs> yeah. and she came over jump scared me and i died yeah. because it like threw me off you know yeah and her reaction and there's a great shot of her uh because i i like turn my chair and like put my arms behind my head and so she's standing right next to me and she just goes with her arms yeah. up there, whoopsie! <laughs> like it was hilarious. It's so it's like a memeable shot for yeah. sure. You know, I, I haven't seen any memes. I've seen the shot of many of times, but like somebody's got to make that a, a meme. Yeah, but yeah, that was that was fun. Just like being in person to be able to do these shenanigans. You know, they started doing milestones like the the pie in the face stuff. Yep. You know, we, and then, I never got pied. Green being green, just. I can't believe he just went over to Jimmy's station and tried to smash a pie at Jimmy's station with no protective covering, anything like that. Just like, whipped cream all over the keyboard. All huge over. mess. I felt a little bad for Gamers Outreach because yeah. I think those were loners, and so they had to clean it up. <sighs> but it was Green, really did, Green and Jimmy did try to clean it up best they could, but I'm like, oh, my gosh, can't believe he did that. Well, so, so I was also in charge of, like, keeping an eye on on those donation goals and like making sure I pulled the people off like it was we we're hoping it would hit during bingo and we'd actually yank a couple off yeah. of bingo to like have a penalty and then Scar had like the ability to like randomly choose who got picked by having papers on the floor face down and, and he drive would over them yeah and he wouldn't know who it was um so we got a chance to do a couple of those and uh that, that was fun Green got his his come up and he got a pie in the face. He did, but what was great is when he went to uh, pie Jimmy. The reason it was well, you know, Jimmy reacted and blocked it, and that's what caused the mess. And Green's like, "Why did you block it?" It's like you, <laughs> because you, first of all, he wasn't. Wait, was he supposed to get pied? Did he drive? Did, is that was that? Did that happen because Scar drove over their paper? Yeah, I think so. It oh. was gonna be it was gonna be either Jimmy or Green. So instead of going to the area of Green designation, just decided, well, it's gonna be Jimmy, and I'm gonna go do it right now, yeah. whether he's expecting it or not. Yeah, <laughs> but then he took a pie to the face, I believe. He Green. did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he made up for it, and and uh, he put the bag on and everything. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. That didn't protect him well enough because I guess it got in his ear. Oh. <laughs> like he was still cleaning. <laughs> Sh uh, whipped cream out yeah. of his ear like the, that night yeah yeah that's <laughs> awesome so we did that and then we also uh, the we all auctioned off some stuff and that did that went very the auction well was very cool very cool to watch yeah yeah like as soon as i knew we were doing the auction i was like this is a great way for people to give 
and receive. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I, I really like that. You know, that's why I like services like like Glimpse and Patreon where you can you can have rewards for people that 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 help us out, in this case help the charity out. Um and but I could have never imagined that some of these items were gonna go for what they went for. Like Bro. it was just it was just insane. Like so you started with your drumsticks. Yeah, that's all I did. In fact, because I'm such a new hermit, when there was talks of auctioning stuff off, I almost thought, like, would it be, is it too arrogant for me to recommend something because I'm the, such a new guy? I'm like, oh, I should do something. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Like, I don't have TCG cards. I don't have any of the mm. plushies. I have none of that stuff. And I'm like, you know what? These these sticks are pretty important to me. Like, these, this would be a sacrifice. Like, I, I, these are... These sticks, I've drummed hundreds of thousands of notes on stream with these sticks. They are the best pair I've ever owned. And you know what it's like to hunt for the perfect pair. And I'm like, I'll do these sticks. Dude, I was like, as long, I mean, $200. Let's just, I'm hoping, the bid started at $25. If I can get to $200, this will be worth it. You know, I never, ever, ever, ever. What would you end up going for? Like $2,500? Over $2,500. Yeah. I, I wasn't planning it. on putting sticks up, but then I saw after yours went up, I saw some a couple people be like, "Oh, it'd be nice to have the chance to get both pairs, yeah, yeah, so they can have imp and skiz." And I was like, "So I, I was like, hey, I know it's kind of your thing, but would you mind if I put at least the sticks that I use on stream uh, when I do that, the drum streams, the, the drum set streams?" Mm -hmm. And uh, you're like, "No, that's cool." And I put those up as well, and and those went for a good clip, fifteen hundred or something went well like that. Too, yeah, and and I was just like, "Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it." Um, also, I was able to get a this. Uh, I, we'll switch to this camera. Yeah, um, this print of the cyberpunk mm -hmm. that uh, B uh, did, Apple Struda did. Um, I asked them if I could basically just have one printed off, framed, and take to the auction. And they were like, "Yeah, go for it. That'd be great to, nice. to have my art be part of charity." And I signed it and everything. And 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 I can't remember what that went for over a thousand dollars. I think it was like. And then, yeah, uh, other plushes and stuff. I Anything I just had just, like, from the past, I ordered for myself extras always for, like, situations like this. So I had a couple of plushes up. I had a couple of U2s awesome. up. Like, everything you see on the shelves around me, basically. Uh, I was able to uh, contribute well, and, and those went. But I, I had no idea the Nerf guns oh my gosh. were going to sell <laughs> I, I, on the auction. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe we we had so much fun with all those Nerf guns mm -hmm. and those things were those were another milestone that we yeah a milestone unleashed those and we were shooting each other and by the way just for terrible the record, idea I am not it was a great idea <laughs> the terrible idea was it should have come with we should have put on glasses we got away with one I'm telling you right now we got away with one because those those little bullets were moving fast enough that they hit somebody's eyeball it was going to cause damage that's why I was like I don't want to be the 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 Debbie Downer here but I'm like everybody shoot like towards the waist only like you can if you shoot above because these things sail they did and, and they, nobody, they always shot higher than you think yeah and nobody nobody like people got shot like here and here and there shot, right see right there see look how close that was that's close I, I still feel it yeah <laughs> whatever no, i was i was playing a game and and uh i it would have hit the back of my head but for some reason it's almost like i just felt it coming i started to look over right then it hit so you you actually see me Playing playing a game, and I look over, and right when I look over, bang, hits my cheek. Yeah, and then and then I I spun <laughs> yeah. and fell out of my chair for funsies. That was fun. Yeah, yeah you did <laughs> went all the way to the ground, which is impressive. Uh, but no, we got away with one. But it doesn't matter. We we it was fun, and and I, I at one point I just started wearing my sunglasses because like I'm not taking one of these to the eyeball. I'm, I'm I got to wear these. And so uh, I think we we rung in the million dollar passing of the whole the all, us and the other group of streamers mm -hmm. brought us over a million and in that moment we all just unloaded on Zed. He put on glasses, <laughs> he sat in the chair, and we that just was fun. that was too much fun, dude. Yeah, because by that time we had um, different guns. We had the, we had the big, big ones guns, and yeah. they shoot a one, lot more. Yeah, yeah, the first one was little pea shooters, and then we had another milestone to get the big Nerf guns. Yeah. And there was like three different kinds, and one one of them had batteries and would like yeah. rapid fire yeah. um, battery power and stuff. But yeah, you were like, we should do a line and then a, like march up and yeah. ready aim fire. And Scar was supposed to lead us, and then it came time, and I'm looking at Scar, and he's like, it must have been so loud for him, you know? Maybe like, to, or to sometimes he wouldn't on. quite move to his command like like every time. Yeah. yeah, And so I was like, all right, I'll do it. And so I'm like, march, and then yeah. 
ready, aim, fire. And we lit Zed up, and he's just flailing all over the place in perfect Zed style with those big old bopper arm things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he even put, like, a pie tin in his pants to to protect little <laughs> like Zed. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, so so the bottom line is this. It went incredible, and I think we all had a small degree of uh, anxiety of what was to come after the event, which we were very excited, but we knew we were going to go on a on a, a bit of a road trip with yeah. Hermits and friends, and and it was going to be uh, your, you, Tango, and myself driving three separate vans that we reserved uh, like a, mo- a month ago. Yeah, a long time a ago. A long time ago. And so that Monday, <laughs> that Monday comes along, Right, we've done we've done it. The event's over. We did great. Um, we're very proud, and we have reason to be proud. We're very happy for the results. Monday morning comes along, and I wake up. I'm like, okay, now it's. I mean, I'm. I've now it's time. And I spent I spent like Sunday working after the event. Like you guys all went out, and I stayed back at the hotel. I had work to do to get ready for Monday. I was able to come meet you guys later, which was great. But I got I wanted to do that so I could just focus on driving. And I wake up, and I'm getting ready. And the phone rings, and it's a Michigan, you know, area. And I'm like, I should probably answer this. And it's the company, like, mm-hmm. you know, is this Skiz? You know, and I'm like, yeah. And they're like, yeah, we don't have your van. And I'm like, that's that's no good. And he's like, yeah, he's rubbled. I'm like, that's no good. And he's like, yeah, uh, well, you know, because they didn't bring it back, and we can't make them bring it back. I'm all, well, there's three vans. He goes, yeah, I, I thought you guys might be together. We don't have any of those vans. I'm all. It's no good. Yeah, I said we have a large group of people here, and um, and we're on a schedule because we really wanted to catch. Yeah, we want to get into Monday, the path the day of the, the eclipse. eclipse. We want to get yeah. in the path of totality, which we were near but not in, and um, and on top of that, we also had a schedule to keep. Man, mm-hmm. we got you know, and so I said, well, that's no good. And I said, I I understand, but I need you to upgrade us. Do what you got to do. You need to accommodate this amount of people, and I need you to. To do it quick. And so he's like, I've been working out for an hour. So let me give you a call back. I said, no problem. Thank you. So he said, I'm going to call the other guys now. And, 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 uh, then Tango and I meet to go down in the elevator and Tango's like, did you get the call? I said, I did. And Tango's like, this, this is awful. I'm like, this <laughs> is awful. This is but it, You know what? We're going to figure it out. Whatever it mm-hmm. is, we're going to figure it out. And then we meet up with you. You're like, you got the call. I'm like, I did. And I had broken it to everybody too. And the, and here was the best part. I, I, I really enjoyed is <clears throat> I broke it to the group and uh, I said, so we're going to go check out the car rental agency that's attached to this hotel. See if there's an option there. I'm also waiting for a call from the original one that we went with. So while I go do this, come up with plan B. I said, pretend I'm going to fail miserably. Come up with plan B. And so they're like, okay. And, and that was when I was like, this is the best group in the world. Yep. No, not one person was like, what? Yeah, nobody not freaked one out. Person. Everybody was just like, how can I help? Like, exactly. It was like, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure this it out. Enough they of just, us here. And luggage everywhere. Worst case scenario, yeah. we missed the eclipse and we were still just hanging out together. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Three vans worth of people and luggage all over the place. And we're supposed to go five minutes ago and we don't even have a plan now. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, you, me, and Tango went and talked to them. And I'm also doing in parallel talking to the original guy. And uh, I don't know if it was uh, whose idea it was exactly, but they're like, this company that's been bringing us back and forth from the hotel <laughs> to the event, let's see. Yeah. And so, in this like mini bus, basically. Yes. You know, and it was amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't understand. So, they, they just happened to be a guy from the transportation company in the lobby of the hotel, like hadn't checked out yet. Yeah, and they just approached him and was like, "Hey, we need a ride to. We wanted to go on this road trip to see the eclipse, and and then further on to to Airbnbs and stuff to hang out for the week." And um, and they made some calls, and next thing you know, like we have a driver and we have a bus that fit exactly the amount of people we had. Yeah, and he was going to be there in an hour. Yeah, it, what? And oh, and. It wasn't that much more expensive no, than our rental cars. It was the best way I to go. I was like, how, how all of a sudden has something gone to complete crap and actually turned into a positive for us? Yeah, because way better. Now the three of us, me, you, and Tango, who were going to drive separate vans and separate the entire party, didn't have to drive anymore. Right. And everyone got to be on the bus together yep. and hang out and have fun and chat and, and just be together. Now, there was one downside. Eclipse Day. Oh, traffic my was oh my god stupid i've never like seen anything we like that could barely move we were on the road just stuck and we so were... now we're we're in this van and, and it was great that we were together uh and we were in good spirits because of the fact that it got solved 
we are on the road, sort of, and uh, yeah, at least heading in the direction we're supposed to be going in. And uh, we're now it's like TikTok yeah. because we had till like three fifteen to get end of the line of totality. Otherwise, yep. it was going to be like every other eclipse we've seen in our life, you know. Yep. Um, and so uh, our driver was fantastic, but he was also like. I don't know how you guys are keeping this together. Yeah. Because this sucks. You know yeah. what I mean? And and uh and, and so he was like keeping his eye on on the route, different kind of routes he could take and stuff. And he did his magic, man. Like all of a sudden, like we were gonna head south because the line kind of cuts diagonally across the US. Yeah. <clears throat> we were gonna head south and he realized south is no good. So he's like, you know what? I'm going east. And he cut like we were going through neighborhoods Dude, and stuff. Do you realize if the vans came through, we we would not have made the path of totality. Right, it would have been we up to the known, three. We, we would not have known have better, known. and yeah. we would have had a hard time communicating. Yeah, uh, change of plans yep. between three different vans and stuff. So yeah, the bus driver did us a solid. His name was David. He was absolutely he awesome. Was we we could tell driver. a few David stories. Yeah. Um. So he he cut over to the east and, dude. We barely made it. Yeah. But we made it. The photo finished. We, we made it. it. Yeah. We had some random gas station in the middle of nowhere. And and uh we got out and and I posted a picture on on my my channel yesterday, my main YouTube channel. Oh, nice. Me and you in our glasses looking up. Yeah. So it was like right before the totality, because um once totality hit, and, and I think a lot of people didn't understand this, including myself, that the difference between totality and, and not totality was actually major. And that's why Super. everyone was going yeah. to the path. Yeah. Um, and I and I didn't quite get it until it was completely covered and we could take our glasses yep. off and safely look at where the sun used to be. You Insane. know what I mean? And see that like halo around it yes. that didn't impact your eyes at all. And the whole neighborhood, like street lights were coming on. Yeah, and it got and dark and yeah, colder. It was, oh, it was crazy. Yeah. It was I've never experienced anything like that. It was that. like it's such a cool moment. Yeah. Such so Thank you, David. Yeah, <laughs> you're David, watching for, you're the man. for getting us there yeah. in, in the nick of time. Like literally, had like two or three minutes to get out of the van and, and catch it in time. Um, and yeah, it was just it was I was awe inspiring, man. Like yeah. I can't. There's no way to describe it. You just have to have to live it. Now I'm like, when's the next one? I'm traveling for it. <laughs> Another 20 apparently. years or so. Yeah. yeah, I'm already booked my plane tickets. I, I I I told Siri remind me in 20 years. Buddy, <laughs> uh, no, I. I it was I didn't understand the hype until we were yep. there and I'm like, I understand the hype. This yep. is so worth it. It was so cool and so grateful to David, who, you know, we got to talk. He he was uh, a recently retired uh D one baseball umpire, mm -hmm. and that was very cool. So we got to really kind of relate on that level. And he started he would even, you know, demonstrate for us and stuff like that, which was uh, which was great, and 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 when he would do it, I was like, "This is a guy that was this was a huge passion of his." Oh yeah, and, and this is when when you started asking him about his time being an umpire, yeah. his face just completely lit up. So, because we were going on this road trip, it was going to take a couple of days to get to our final Airbnb that we were all going to hang out at. Um, and now we had David, a driver, with us that we needed to um, put up overnight somewhere in a hotel or Airbnb. Well, I I had looked at it, the um, Airbnbs. We actually ended up running two because the group was so big. Yeah. Um, and I was like, you know what? In the in the second Airbnb, the one that you and I had planned on staying in with with Tango Dot and, and Zed, I said, there's there's room for David. I'll just sleep on the couch. Yeah. I was like, David, I I, I tell David, I go I go, hey, we could put you up in a hotel, or you can just hang out at the Airbnb with us. And immediately he's like, "You guys are pretty cool. I want to hang out with yeah. you guys." Yeah, he's like, "I want to hang out with you guys." I was yeah. like, "All right." He so, so David came and he stayed in our Airbnb with us, and we we walk in the door and he kicks his shoes off, puts his feet up, turns the TV on to Sports Center. The dude was cracking me. He up. was wonderful. He was dude. just having the time of his yeah. life. His wife even called at some point, and he's like, "I feel like I'm the one on vacation here." Yeah. <laughs> he's telling his wife. So yeah, he was uh, he was a hoot. Like you said, he would demonstrate all his. Strike three, you're out of here, yeah. calls and stuff. And, yeah, and throwing I throwing people out of the game. He told yeah. every, every every person he'd ever thrown out of a baseball game, he told the story to us that night. Yeah. Um, it was just, it was awesome getting to know him. Uh, he was, um, he was a trip. And then, so we had that first house, and then we continued our trek further east. And I was really excited about that because it was also going to be two houses, but they were really close. And that was going to be the time that my wife was going to meet up with us, mm -hmm. and because she was over on the East Coast taking care of my daughter who had just had surgery on her, you know, on her re reconstructed ACL, and so my wife made the trek to the house while we were all hanging out, and 
the second she got there, I felt like I was complete. You know what I mean? Like it was, I was just so nervous about her making that trek. Yeah. It was late at night, very windy roads and stuff like that. And then once she got there, it was great. And and everybody, all the hermits and friends were so accepting of her. And and she, I was just very, I mean, I don't. It's lack of a better phrase. I was really proud of her. That's got to be kind of daunting to be in front of that many strangers with those types of per, like really large personalities. Yeah. And she just. She just acclimated right in, mm-hmm. and uh, and it was just it was so great having her there, and and I knew that like now all of us are gonna have a good time. I'm gonna have to peel away every now and again to work, but we're all gonna have this great time, and then we're gonna part ways. And my wife and I are gonna, you guys are all gonna go to your separate homes, and my wife and I are gonna shoot up or yeah. you know north and go to the east more to be with our daughter for a couple more days before. We got home, and I only got home a couple nights ago, actually. Yeah, crazy to think that. Yeah, crazy. So. This is the part where I know a lot of a lot of our viewers and listeners are going to be like, please tell us more about your time in the house together and hanging out for you yeah, know those yeah. those couple days on this this quote unquote road trip. Um, that's actually something that we all agreed to kind of like leave off camera. Um, like like that time was for us. That was we weren't there to work, you know, at yeah. all. There wasn't any vlogging. There wasn't any streaming from the house. Um, we were just there to unwind and completely unplug. Um, you know, even though I brought my laptop with me, I didn't do any anything with it yeah. other than upload the 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 charity stream. Um, and we just wanted to spend time and get to know each other um, more. And and so I don't think uh, as much as you know, you probably want the private stories. Uh, you're not going to hear a lot about that from like any of us, just because it was kind of like our private time i know there's probably a better word well yeah but i mean it's it's imp- i mean uh, people are going to infer a lot of things that they should not be there's no there's nothing that to that that we can't talk about this it's not like that right. it's more like you know it it reminds me of this is going to sound crazy and this is going to sound very selfish but there's a scene in saving private ryan where uh tom hanks's character uh, tom hanks and matt damon are just sharing their home lives and they're talking about you know life as a kid and you know he was a teacher and this and that and then he talks about Tom Hanks talks about his wife and how she would garden and her flower bed and all that. And that's all he said that she used to do flowers and stuff. And it's like minutes before uh, the next battle happens. Um, and uh, Matt Damon's character says, tell me about your wife in the flower bed. And he says, no, that one's just for me. And that's how I feel about this trip. Like yeah. it sounds so crazy and I feel kind of bad about it, but I'm like, this was like such a rare occurrence. It's like, this is, this is, this was, a this was, great and let's just leave it at that like it was every person was was as delightful or if not more than i was hoping yeah. they were going to be and i i'm gonna tell you right now i fully expected to be disappointed by some people and i was disappointed by not one right it was awesome no no on the contrary like it was it was crazy to see the entire group just have this camaraderie and, and like and we had a lot that we had to take care of logistically like we went to a grocery store and had four shopping carts. That was a nightmare. Filled with food <laughs> yeah. that we were kind of, well, I wouldn't say winging it. Some people had an idea of what they wanted to do, um, but also yeah. every once in a while, when we would run into another, you know, shopping cart within the group, and we realized, oh, you also got milk. Yeah. Okay, maybe we don't need five gallons of yeah. milk. Let's, you know what I mean, like that kind of stuff. We were having to figure out, but we did. Like we. We came together. We figured it all out. We spent a lot of money on groceries. That was a big group. Yeah. It was like almost $1,000 yeah. in groceries, which was crazy. And then uh, we all just like came together to have fun with the cooking, with the cleaning, and, and just, and, and then, you know, kind of winding down and, and playing some some games together. You know, like for instance, and I know we talked, we're not going to get too, super private, uh, but like Tango brought a card game like called Bang. It was a cowboy game. And he brought that. Yeah, I thought it was in the house. And so he he sat down and taught us how to play it and stuff. <laughs> and like we we played like just games like that. The house had some so you know pool table and almost and had a role playing pong. thing yeah. to it of like gunslingers. So and, we really yeah. got a chance to just. It, here's the other thing that floored me. There was next to zero talk about work, like yeah. YouTube streaming. Like, there was some, but it was, was limited. just a minimal yeah. amount. Like we all like literally knew we were there to mentally turn off yeah. and just be in each other's company yeah. and enjoy each other. And and we did. And I think like I think that's super important, you know, because like I can already feel that. I've been back on Hermitcraft since 
Um, and I can already feel that and just having conversations with some of the people yeah. that were there. Yeah. I already feel like so much more comfortable with them. And I feel like it's going to impact the way we make content because now we actually know each other, like not just online, but like we've, we've hugged in real life. Yeah. We've, you know what I mean? And, and we've had enough time to, to like really get to know each other. So I think it's going to go a long way from a, like a team building standpoint, but I think also we, we kind of needed that, you know, it was yeah. a, a, I don't want to say stressful, but it was a, it was jam packed weekend yes. and we needed the unwind um, but that was also following like the kickoff of season 10 where where we've all just been going hard, you know, like I'm having fun, of course, but like we've all been putting our all into season 10. And so to have that moment to where we can just unwind yeah. and, and detach from all of that and just enjoy each other's company was was just magical. It we, was we, like I'm already looking forward to doing yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm yeah. really looking forward to the next one. Like you you think a lot of people get done with an event like this and like, oh, okay, that was great. That was a good thing. I need some time. I'm chomping at the bit for the next one, man. Yeah. And it's, it's the people. Yep. It's the people. It was like, I feel like I've had this like loose friendship with everybody who was there, right? This like distant friendship or whatever, but getting to know them in real life and getting to really know them. Like I said, I was expecting to be disappointed. I'm sorry. I just was. Because that's just how it works, man. That's how it works. A group that big, there's always one, there's gonna one be... bad apple that yes, spoils dude. a bunch of type situations. Which means it's probably me, right? <laughs> so, but I... It no, was, you were lovely. It was... It was I... Everybody was... Um, I, I was very sad when it was over, mm -hmm. right? But but I'm trying to lean into don't be sad it's over, be glad it happened, and just start looking forward to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everything, everything worked out, you know. Um, we did have to drive... Uh, Friday when we checked out to Newark to, to yeah, fly out. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so Green had a brilliant idea. Like we weren't quite to the Airbnbs with we we're still in the in the the bus with David, and um, we were like about to go through our last kind of like city before we <laughs> were in the boonies. And Green's like, we should check if see if they have any car rental places there. And uh, I remember Tango being like, there's no way they have three vans, like, because we still needed the three vans to yeah, get to, to the get, airport yeah. on Friday. And, and plus, we wanted to be able to have wheels in case people wanted to go places during the week, you know, go hiking or whatever. Um, and so Green's like, well, just find out. And so we called and, and they had three vans. They had the, the three vans that we initially wanted. And so we're like, OK, um, we stopped and, and we got the three vans and, and we parted ways with David, who was, I think, a little sad he was looking forward to some barbecue that night. Yeah, but it shortened his drive <laughs> it home. It did shorten his drive yeah. home so he could actually make it home at a decent time that night. Um, and then we had our, our vehicles. And so, yeah, Friday morning when we checked out of the Airbnbs, we were able to go um, to the airport, you know, and yeah. get everybody there. You you and, and your wife went your separate way and and uh, me, Tango, and, and uh, we had another driver that drove uh, the other van and we all kind of just got there. Yeah, it was great. I'm glad. Yeah, I so. was like worried about all that too, and like like you said, we all like my wife and I were just completely separate. Like it was, we all went in a similar direction, but we you know broke apart. And I'm like, man, everybody's got a lot of travel ahead of them. And then what I liked about it was everybody was reporting to the group in Discord. I'm home now. Like, yeah, you know, all like made glo it home. globally. I made it home. I made it home, and I'm like, this is. This is the real friendship. That's what that is. Yeah. That's a real friendship right That's there. That's what the week was to me. It was like a nice reminder that we're not just coworkers. Yeah. Like Hermitcraft started as a group of friends just playing a video game together and kind of documenting that and putting it out there for people to to be flies on the wall and see. And fast forward to season 10, uh, we've got a decade of doing this under our belts now. And it's easy to forget those origins. It's easy to think... Oh, I'm making these videos because it is my livelihood now, because yeah, I want to chase algorithms and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's easy to forget that, no, we're actually still doing this because we're actually still great friends just yeah. playing a game together, yeah. you know? And that friendship um, was obvious when we got in the house yeah. and we all just got along the way we did. Yeah. So um, that was nice. That was a nice reminder that that we have that and we can't forget about that and we need to spend time together doing these things to not, not just team building just because it's nice to hang out with friends See, and that's exactly and i think we all learned something i think i think it's fair to say that everybody probably had a little bit of apprehension about this group coming together physically or whatever mm -hmm. like in real world 
Uh, but now I'm willing to bet that nobody has the slightest bit of apprehension of doing it again. So yep. I'm, I guess I can't say it enough. I'm looking forward to the next one. Do me a favor. Tell me what, what is some of your most memorable parts Ooh, of the, of the, event? the, the, the charity right? weekend? Yeah. Yeah. I know you guys like the amount of people uh, that were part of that and watching. And if you were part of the donations and making or the auctions and making it come to reality, I cannot thank you enough. What a great yeah. cause. Uh, to come together so let us Fantastic. know in the comments what did you love most about the the events what's the most memorable and you know what i'm just going to say what is it that you might like to see be different for next time it may or yeah. may not happen but let us know yeah yeah i don't know if it'll be with gamers outreach again but i mean the charts are always uh, hermits are always looking to do cherry yeah. uh, charities so uh anyway yeah let us know uh what you guys would like to see and what right. you like best I, it was a blast it was a blast I I mean, i'm glad we got a chance to uh to talk about it yep. a little bit so hopefully you guys all saw it um i don't know about you i put a i put a the vods the the replays of what i recorded in from stream up on my second channel i think you've probably posted some I too, did. yeah, yeah. Uh, i think most everybody did so if you want to see any of our points of views from the weekend just bounce around um to our, our youtube channels or second channels if you can find them um there's great clips out there too yeah it's so much fun seeing seeing them and i'm sure we'll be seeing them for a while yeah really so. good stuff so let us know and uh until next time yeah um, hopefully sooner chapter than closed later. happy good chapter i miss everyone already i know moving on <laughs> all right see you guys see you